Have you ever tried to print something in Kotlin only to find out it's not going where you expected? It can be really confusing, right? If that sounds like you, stick around because today we're going to solve the mystery of sending output to standard error using string templates. I totally get it. You want to use the println function, but it seems to only send messages to standard output. It's a common frustration among Kotlin developers, and you're definitely not alone in this. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, how do I send the output of println to system.r while using string templates? They shared a simple code snippet, and it's a great starting point for our discussion. So what's the issue here? The println function in Kotlin defaults to standard output, and there's no built-in option to redirect it to standard error directly. But don't worry, we can work around this limitation with a few simple steps. And make sure to stick around until the end. I'll share a quick tip that will make your Kotlin coding experience even smoother. To redirect output to standard error in Kotlin, the user can use the print function instead of println. This allows for more control over where the output goes. Next, the user should create a string template to include the variable in the output. This is done by using the dollar sign followed by the variable name. Now the user can combine these elements into a complete function. This function will print the message to standard error using the string template. Finally, the user should call this function to see the output in the standard error stream. This will ensure that the message is displayed correctly. Fun fact, did you know that the concept of standard error was introduced to help separate error messages from regular output? It's a lifesaver for debugging. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. One alternative solution is to create a global function for printing error messages. This function sends output directly to system.r. Let's take a look at an answer from another user. An alternative approach suggested by a user is to directly use system.error for printing error messages in Kotlin. They recommend using system.error.println to send output to standard error, which will display the message in red color. In contrast, if you use println, it will send the output to standard output. For example, system.outprintlen will display the message normally. Here's that quick tip I promised. Always check where your output is going, especially when debugging. It can save you a lot of time and confusion. And there you have it. You can now send your println output to standard error using string templates. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more Kotlin tips and tricks. Happy coding!